faith in the property seeking plan. We also have Mr. Edison Tsai, partner and executive director of Seed and Technology. Edison has over 70 years of experience in the development, management, and consultation of information management products for major private companies and government agencies in the Philippines. As the executive director, Edison works closely with other overseas counterparts to ensure successful expansion and implementation of CDN into the Philippines. He is currently the chairman of Strategic Partnership for Fintech Alliance.ph and a board member of Fintech Philippines Association or FPA. Mr. Amos Chen, co-founder, managing director of CDN Taiwan. The network technology platform he founded in 2014 won the Top 100 Innovative Product Award of 2016 in Formation Monthly. He keeps being active in the financial technology sector and is proposed as the Board of Director for Taiwan FinTech Association, or TFTA. And of course, we have Mr. Glenis Nipatan of Real Estate Brokers slash owners at Remax Premier Manila. Glennis is a registered real estate broker with more than 20 years of real estate experience from low, mid, and high projects, both subdivision and condominiums, as part of the sales force and as also part of the executive management. He owns Remax Premier Manila, an affiliate with the world-renowned Remax Premier franchise, and has a workforce of high-caliber professionals who prepares various investment performance in the Philippines and caters to both local and international workers and clientele. So right now, at this point, we would like to invest, uh, invite our esteemed guests to share a few words about the strategic partnership. Sir Andre. Okay, uh, good afternoon everyone. Uh, first, I want to thank you for uh, coming here uh, to, to hear about what we're trying to launch here, what uh, what we're trying to attend for real estate and also for investment in the country. So I'm actually very honored to sit beside of these three amazing men uh, who's been in the industry in investment, in banking, in fintech, and in real estate. Um, I find these three men are really mentors, but uh, this afternoon we'll be launching a, a product that we would like to reach more um, investment opportunity for the country, not just for the Philippines, actually for all Asia. That's why um, Amos is here as well to open that opportunity in Taiwan. So um, we'll be doing a live video, but I will let these three men um, say things about why this is very strategic and why it's very important uh, uh, as we go along. So, good afternoon everyone, uh, I'm Edison from Sydney, Philippines and uh, uh, it is my honor as well to be uh, uh, here this afternoon to uh, signify our formal partnership for uh, and the launch of Flint, uh, which is a very exciting project and uh, platform that we are launching because it will open the doors to, uh, to buyers to, uh, to acquire their dream home. Uh, their dream property here and abroad, right? So I, I think uh, this is really a, 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 a cutting edge, uh, or should I say a breakthrough in real estate um, development because as we know, um, ma, ma, ma thing, right now our growth in the Philippines for real estate is, uh, is booming. And uh, however, when the, if, if the, when the prices are also increasing, how do we provide um, ways or means for buyers, uh, not only foreign buyers, but also local buyers to acquire the properties of their, of their dream. And that is why Flint was, uh, was created and is to create, is to give equal opportunity for everyone to, uh, to acquire the property that they want. And with that, we are very honored to, uh, to have this partnership and we, as we open the doors to everyone, for, for that. So, uh, thank you. Hi, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Glenn from uh, Remax Premier. Now, when Andre mentioned this platform to be initiated and initiated that uh, both Edison and Amos would be on board, 
and when we were talking, I was so excited. This is the best thing in real estate startup, real estate industry at this point in time that's gonna happen in uh, the Philippines. Because prices are going up, and also, you know, it's so hard to sell properties right now. It's so hard to buy properties also. But now Flint is a venue where people can actually invest not the whole amount, but a portion of the amount with other people and with other co-investors and be able to share right, the, the, we'll say the risk okay, of uh, buying a property. But there's really no such risk because three months per year we make sure that the properties that will be put in the market are of good standing and it's, and it's at the right property prices. So we look forward to having a lot of properties, property owners, to be able to use Flint as a platform to sell their units and also for investors to have a viable, legal, and secure way to put their money. So thank you. Thank you, and now let's move on, or let's move forward to our contract signing ceremony. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Amos, Amos. Thank you. Okay, uh, I'm delighted to attend this cooperation, and I'm very happy that Taiwan can be participate in this project. And I think Taiwan and Philippines are very close, and I think this is very happy that we can uh, through this opportunity, the town investor can invest uh, into uh, Philippine uh, development and real estate field. Yeah, I'm very, look, very looking forward. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Sir Dimos. And I think now we're ready. Now let us now move forward to our contract signing ceremony. Okay. No, uh, it's not a, a lending type of company, although that's one type of uh, category for crowdfunding, but you will approach it as an investment. Uh, because when you put in the money, it will show you the investment return that you will get on every investment that you will put in. Uh, so, well, we, let me get into it. So, you're assuring the return of the uh, return on the investment? Yes, correct. Hello, good afternoon. So I really like your platform because aside from the choices of investing, for example, in the stock market, in the forex, at least you are given opportunity, a chance to invest in uh, real estate. You know? So there are lots of ways of investing, like in uh, forex, uh, even blockchain. Yeah. So my question is, do you allow blockchain also to, to be used in a form of investment or or what? Um, what should you want to be like cryptocurrency? I know, cryptocurrency. <laughs> uh, currently, it, it, it's yeah. not even part of our roadmap right now, but of course, because we're a startup, uh, we're a tech company, we're always open to innovation. Mm -hmm. But to answer you straight, you know what? That's not even part of our roadmap. We would like to focus on the strength of the partnership and how we can collaborate and uh, give this impact to, to everyone to reach a bigger impact. But yeah, that's we're we'll gonna focus on what we have done at the moment. So uh, in, in, in short, uh, <laughs> we have plan. <laughs> we have plan. <laughs> yeah, because uh, of course, uh, um, I mean, the, the, you, you're right because we we have a limited choice of investments in the Philippines. Uh, and um, sometimes these choices are not entirely safe as well. Right? So you know you have variable investments like stocks, uh, you have uh, fixed returns like like time deposits or